Good dig by Olibao. The ball hit over by Emily Harton. That's a good double block that time. They try it again. Hess. And they say double hit. Double hit on Hawaii. It's now 10 5. San Diego, it's rather Santa Clara in double digits. And Santa Clara all of a sudden has become very difficult. Very difficult in the same way San Diego was. Serving is Douglas. Uyato. Harton. Harton, that was clinical. Harton just blasted that by the double block. Maybe, just maybe, the play of Santa Clara will energize the entire Hawaii team like it did Harton just then. Hawaii trailing by four, serving as Kawamura. In the air. Ball hit Hess, that's blocked back. Hess will try it again, double block is up. Hess goes cross court and doesn't hit anything. And goes out. So it is 10 to 7. Hawaii trailing by three here in the fourth. Kawamura will serve and the crowd will quiet. Kawamura gets it in. Outside it goes to Hess, block back, one-handed attempted save by Rotman. Doesn't work. Point for Hawaii. I'll tell you, Hess took the right shot after a perfect pass from uh, Milton. Look at it, she goes right for the smallest blocker, Uyato. And Uyato is more than up to the task. Uyato will be awarded when her eligibility is over. The master set. It will be on a plaque. She will put it in her living room and show all of her grandchildren. 10-8. Hawaii now trails. And serving is Kawamura. Trying to get on a string here. Rotman straight up in the air. Presto. They give it a two. Hess. And the double block was right there. Hess tried to kind of patty cake it over. Well, Hess has been their go-to player all night. She's got 15 kills, and, and she's gotten uh, over 40 sets, so they love to go to her. I wouldn't be surprised if they went to her again right here. Forster was there, serving again Kawamura. The ball hit over by Cameron, and then good step up by Cameron. And it's 11-9, Santa Clara leading. Anderson will come in for Santa Clara. Also in is Anders. Cameron will leave, and Cresto will leave. And finally, they'll get the right players on the floor here. That was a great set by Gigi Cresto. She started off at the University of Utah, and then she became a setter at Santa Clara, and that was a beautiful set out to the pin. Anderson serving. And that is a great hit by Vorster. That went off Rotman in the back row. And it is his 11-10. Santa Clara leading by only one. The reestablishment of the middle imperative for Hawaii's success in this set. Nikki Taylor has come into the front row now, number eight for Hawaii. Serving is Uiato. That ball is hit over by Andrews. Blocked back by Emily Hartung. Outside it goes to Hess. Away with the advantage now. Hit by Hartung. Great save in the back row that time. Hitting the ball over his cannon. Uyato. Hartong. That ball knocked over Rotman, but she saved it. And her teammates cannot help her out. Well, Anderson Hart went way over by the pedestal. Emily Hartong just ramped up the RPMs on her velocity for her last two attacks. She does not want to go to the fifth set, I'll tell you that. She's going to put everything into this fourth set. So Hawaii came back to tie it at 11. And this fourth set beginning again. Serving is Uyato, chased down by Anderson. That ball is hit over by Anders. Hawaii with it. Ball comes over by Taylor. That ball is hit back by Hartong. 
Trying it again is Hess, and Hess is able to get the point. So the line drive has become the weapon of choice in this set. They are really ripping it. And this crowd of just over 6,000 really starting to get into it. 12 serving 11. Dug up by Longo, and that ball hit over Borster from Oyato. Love the pass, love the set, love the hit. We are tied at 12. And serving will be Hartong. And you see Borster now, Hartong steadies herself for this serve. Tied at 12. Rotman, Anderson, that ball blocked back by Borster, off the hit that time by Anders. Finally, Hawaii is getting two blockers up on Anders. Anders has had her way quite a bit. There's that little high two set. Finally, the other blocker on the right side was Nikki Tanner. She gets in there to help out. Hawaii well, has the lead for the first time. Serving his hard time. Rotman chased down by Anderson. That ball is hit by Milton, and that gets down. What a shot by Milton. She had the 6-4 Taylor. She was facing eyeball to eyeball. Went right around her and put it on the back line. Great shot by Taylor Milton. Oh, what WCC honorable mention last year. Rutman serving. Ball hit by Forster. Forster used the tape that time to slow it down. And by slowing it down, the ball fell to a piece of the open court. So Forster had a nice run through the front there. Got, a, I think, three kills as she went through the front there. And now she goes out. And Adolfo comes in. And Adolfo has been even more effective attacking tonight. Adolfo, Olival, Taylor in the front row now for Hawaii. And there you see Longo. Hawaii leading 14-13. It has been competitive. Longo gets it in. Ball chased down. There's Anderson. The ball is hit by Hess. Saved by Longo. Uyato goes cross court. Olivao gets it across. Advantage. Santa Clara. And that ball is hit by Milton. And they say that is in. Milton again, too. Amazing shots. She had solid blocks in front of her. She found ways to get over or around them. So we are tied at 14. In the fourth set. Santa Clara trying to take it to an all-encompassing fifth set. Serving this Cresto. Overpass. Hammered down, but there is Longo. They go to Olival. In the air by Douglas. Douglas, two hands it over. Hawaii trying to respond. Hartung from the back row. In the air, Santa Clara cannot get it. And a player goes up on the press row across the way. Just to the right of radio, just to the left of the newspaper. Danielle Rodman, sophomore out of Santa Barbara. And she will be given an applause and well-deserved. Dave Reardon there to help her out. 15-14. Rotman had an aunt and an uncle who both played Division I volleyball. Serving is Mendoza. Hawaii with the advantage here. Hartan took something off, off the block. Diving dig by Cresto. Uyato, step up. And that is Adolfo. Adolfo, again, with that step out working very, very well. Hawaii leads by two. Timeout Santa Clara. There's the Molokai slide again, run to perfection. Even when Santa Clara knew the Molokai slide was coming, they still couldn't get two people up or get up quickly enough. You know, what has gone as a sidebar now and not the real essence of why we're here tonight, the competition in the match has taken over what will be a great night for the coach, Dave Shoji. It's the competition that people are focusing on now because it is a tremendous match. And that's how he would like it. Yes, it is. We've yes, talked it is. many times 
you know, he really doesn't want the credit. He says, I've had too many great coaches, too many great players, great trainers, uh, great administrators to help him, great competitors like Andy Banikowski right there to uh, motivate him all the time, a great family to support him. Uh, you know, he's, he's really been really generous with the praise and acknowledgement for everybody else, including fans like this that have sort of came, came with a package when he got when he got the first got the job was playing in Clum Gym. They filled up Clum Gym in those days. And it's just a classic move by Andy Banikowski. For the first time in his life, he is sharing the top of the mountain yeah, with Dave Shoji. Right. And he is here. Yeah. He is here to help celebrate if it happens. Yeah. And they played against each other when Andy was at UCLA and Dave was at Santa Barbara. And then they coached against each other all these years. 16 14 in favor of Hawaii here in the fourth. Serving for Hawaii will be Mendoza. Gets it over. Rockman near the net. And that ball is a back row attack called on Santa Clara. That's give, a point for Hawaii, and they lead by three. And give Mendoza all the credit there for the tough serve. Mendoza will continue to serve here. Hawaii with a three-point lead. This is their biggest lead in the fourth set. Rodman pops it up. Presto goes outside to Douglas. That ball is hit over by Hartong. There's Cresto, Rotman, and Milton. Ball is blocked back. Milton will try it again. And this time it works as it goes down in front of Adolfo. You know, Hawaii doesn't have any left-handers on the team, so they, you know, when you play against a left-hander, you're going to form the block differently. Everything just sort of shifts around. Hawaii's going to play a great left-hander tomorrow night. In UCLA's Carsta Lowe, who's had a monster year so far, so this is good practice for him to play against uh, Taylor Milton. Milton serving. That's received by Longo. They go outside. There's that slide to perfection. That may be the best slide of the night for Adolfo. I'll tell you why it was so good. Normally she runs a wide slide to the antenna. This time it's a tight slide. The blockers go out to the antenna thinking she's going to go out there. And instead, she yells tight at the last minute, and she gets the set right behind the setter, Uyato and uh, Adolfo. Great audibleizing there. Courtney Lele Pali will now serve for Hawaii. 18 serving 15. Serving. The ball is dug up by Douglas. And hit again on that far side by Hess. Eighteen, sixteen, Hawaii leading by two. They have had trouble in this match closing it out. Nikki Hess, Nikki has just been she's been the rock of Gibraltar all night long for this Santa Clara team. Serving is Douglas into the net service error. Comes at a very inopportune time for Santa Clara. Away now leading by three. And they are on the cusp of getting to 20. 